think young women should think about uh, how they are collecting a set of experiences. Quite often people think they just have to have this sense of a resume is sequential jobs that they had. That is one way um, to really start to collect a series of assets or, or experiences. But it can also be coming out in a number of other ways. It could be something you've done at your in your community. It could be something you've done at maybe you belong to a church or you belong to a club. But think about each experience that you could get yourself involved in. And maybe they have a role, someone who's organizing the events. Um, well, that gives you great organization skill experience. Maybe they need someone who's going to organize the collecting of the money for an event. So it's like a treasurer's role. I think these sorts of small experiences are really wonderful ways to have great coaching and someone can take you under their wing and you're really learning something totally new and different. But these sorts of skills are applicable in many, many other ways. And it's a great way to tell your story. And I always think, work on your narrative, work on your story, the who am I? If you had one elevator ride, what would you say you're doing and who would you say you are? Because each one of you, each girl has something to tell. It could be how sports impacted your life or theater and dance or a club you belong to. But there was an experience there that is transcendable onto some other experience that you might have. And it might help at an interview. It might help when you're kind of writing the draft of your resume. It really starts to tell a story of who you are. But your story builds year on year. I still, after 35 years working, I'm still building my story. And I don't think I'm done for a long, long time.